Now if you want to know how to make this, continue watching my video. We're going to make this adorable little barn cottage for guinea pigs. First thing you're going to need are some lollipop sticks and some PVA glue. So the next that you'll need are a variety of brushes in different sizes. These are just some old makeup brushes I've got lying around. Then some soy paint, which is perfectly safe for guinea pigs to chew on. And you can get them in a variety of colours. I've just got them in a pink hibiscus and a white onion colour because I want to do some ombre. And you're just going to need some paper towels, some water to rinse off your brushes and some scissors to cut your lollipop sticks. Then you're going to need a cottagey type house that is made of pet safe wood. I got this from Wellburn's Assorted Shelters on Facebook, I will leave a link down below. But this is the hay barn for guinea pigs and it was around £8 I think with £3.95 delivery which was really good value and it's great for redoing and up upcycling if we shall say. But anyway, any kind of wooden house would do or you could even make your own one out of some pet safe wood as well. For the first step you're going to need your lollipop sticks and your PVA glue and your scissors. So what we first want to do is to cut the ends of these lollipop sticks in a graduated way. So basically the first layer you want to be longer and then the second a little bit shorter and the third the shortest. So this will create a tile effect and when you overlap them they will look like little shingles. So I will firstly show you how far I've cut mine. I don't actually measure but I just use one for a template. Now I've already done one side of the house that I've made so I will just show you that and then show you how I'm going to do the lollipop sticks. Now because I've already done one side you can see that it's not all completely even but I kind of like that look so I wasn't too bothered about exactly the right measurements but for this because I want the other side to be the same so it matches I'm going to basically take this here, line it up and roughly see where the end is. So I can see it's around here that I want it to end. So I'm going to, my scissors are broken so do excuse that. <laughs> I, I didn't have time to go and get some more. Um, let me just, it's very hard on this angle, but basically I'm gonna basically trim it just there. So I'm gonna hold it like this and then just go, and they may crack. Let me see, there we go, okay. So now you've got a piece like this that will fit the same length or if you're starting off you just choose a, a nice length that you want but basically this will be that side so you'll be having this like that that's your first layer of shingle so I'll try and get it so you can kind of see so that's the longest layer so you want to repeat that and to fill up the whole length now depending obviously on your size it's going to be different but for mine it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 long and that will be the same for all of the other layers. So I will go and do that and then I will join back. Okay so now once you've got all your lollipop pieces cut for the bottom layer we can start applying it so you just need to get your PVA glue and this is safe again so you want to get the child's one and this is a non-toxic version so again this is absolutely fine and all you want to do here is glue a small portion and then just apply it onto your wooden so I'm going to repeat this for a few, so again just a little bit of glue, a tiny bit will do because PVA is quite strong and then you just fix it again. So I'll continue this and then I'll get back when it's all finished. Now I've completed the whole length of the top. So I put all the lollipop sticks on. Now you can wait for them to dry, but because they dry, PBGA dries in a few hours. However, because it's not really heavy and everything that's been put on top, I found that I could do the other side without having to wait for it to completely dry because already it's quite firm and it's sticking nicely. So I will now show you how to do the second layer, but as 
we saw before, it's more of a repeated step of the first. We've got the second layer to do, which is this one, and this will be going in between the edges of the other ones, but I'll show you properly on the other side. So we will need the same amount of lollipop sticks, that was I think it was 21 or 22 for the other side for mine, and we will have to halve one of those lollipop sticks to make the edge. Okay, so I've got a few that I accidentally did too many on the other side, so I'm going to show you how to do this part, but again, all you do is line it up, when, this is when you're doing the second side, when you're doing the first you can just make it slightly shorter, so I'm just going to line it up, and then, let me just get my scissors, I'm just going to, I can see what I'm doing, I'm just going to have it like that, because that's roughly how long I want, so then I will cut that, let me swap hands, I am right handed, so I'll cut that, oh, I'm going along, that's flipped over there, <laughs> But now we've got our middle layer, so again you want to cut the amount that you'll need to do that, so I will get back to you on that. Okay, so now I've cut all the little pieces for the second layer, I'm going to start putting them in. Now firstly I'm going to just cut this quickly in half, yeah now some of them will crack like that which doesn't help but this one I can kind of use, and there we go, and I can trim this one off to make it straight, just need to get that nib off at the end so that's straighter. Okay, so we're going to start off and put this on, I'm going to actually just glue it on here directly. Now you can use one of the unused ends, or the middles, of what you've just used, just to spread it out thinner because then it makes it a lot easier and it doesn't have to take as long to dry. Now if you get anything lower it's fine because it's PVA glue and it will dry clear anyway but also, I've just about to put that on wrong, <laughs> also um, you will be painting it or you could leave it clear, it's up to you. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do with the end. So the curve is facing inwards and the straight bit is directly parallel to this lower bit. Okay, and then the next one is like that. So you can see how, let me just move that straighter, you can see how this is directly in the middle, this middle part of the, is directly overlapping that. So it brings up a, a sort of, um, I've completely lost the word, I mentioned it earlier shingles that's it so there you go and you'll just repeat that step we'll have the full second layer now if there are some bits that are kind of like pushing up because not all of the lollipop sticks are entirely straight you can just go on after and just help push them down once again I have actually one left over, but I'm going to template it on exactly where this is. So I'm going to get my scissors if I can. And just hold it like that. So that's where about I want it. And then you can just after this, oh, just line it up just to see if that's exactly now it's a bit tiny bit longer than what I wanted. So I'm just going to cut a tiny bit off, and there we go, so that's the same size, and then we can continue making all of these, and then that will be the last layer. Okay, so I think you all guess what's coming next, we're going to now glue the third layer onto the top again in between so we're not going to halve it this time we're going to repeat this so every other layer basically you repeat either having the full lollipop stick or a half so that's quite easy to tell we have both sides all tiled up i'm going to start painting on this side just 
all nice and dry and it has been for a few days so we shall get started with that. Okay so now we have our paints. For this I'm going to start off with this brighter pink and then dull it down into a lighter pink so that's why I've got the white to mix and I'm probably just going to mix it on this just because this is some thick card and I've just used it as a surface to put it down so I don't get any paint on the table so that's what I shall start now and I shall show you how we go so I have my paint on my brush I'm just going to start painting along the top And here I'm not going to be too bothered if I get it over because I do want the edges of this to be painted as well. So I'm just going to go like that because on the next day I'm just going to be a bit neater and I won't have to worry so much. Okay. So now the top pink layer of the tiles is done going to leave that to dry but I may get started on just the main part of the cottage so I will start doing that and start showing you. Okay so now we've got the main colour of the roof paint the soy paint seems to dry quite quickly which is really useful so I'm probably going to start doing some more of the ombre detail and then the walls on the side and on the inside as well. Okay, so now I've painted the walls and I've also on the roof part painted that on the side so it's different. So it's a slight different shade of pink. Now I'm going to get onto the ombre. finished so we've got the little flower details over here and on the vine there and around the corner there with the ombre roof details and that's the same on that side as well and I just am um, quite happy with it it's not the best painting as you can see on the front but it is better than nothing and I'm quite pleased with it so thank you again for watching and if you do take any inspiration from this DIY, I'd love to see photos, so 
do keep me informed. And yeah, thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!